Happy Monday to everybody. Technically it's Sunday, but it's my Monday. Most of you are probably sitting at home, enjoying time with family, friends, football. I'm headed to work. It's okay though. It sucks though, because the one sport that I actually watch, like the only sport that I watch really is football. Pro football. I don't really watch college football, but pro football. And of course those games are on Sundays, as you know. Of course, there's Monday night games and Thursday night games. But anyways, so Sunday, I miss pretty much all my football games. I don't get to see many at all. If Maybe like a few seconds here and there when it's on the TV in the break room at work. But otherwise, that's it. The same thing for Monday night football because I'm working. And then Thursday night football is on NFL Network. And I don't have cable. So therefore, I can't watch that game. It's all good sacrifices for getting a three-day weekend every week I'd rather take the three-day weekend to be honest sucks that I can't see the games but it is what it is I did request Super Bowl Sunday off though it's next year and I'll have vacation time starting over and therefore I took Super Bowl Sunday off make sure I got it in there before anybody else did well I was going to show you guys the first snow of the year but it's pretty much all gone <laughs> We got a dusting here. There was snow on the ground when I went to bed last night. When I woke up this afternoon, there was no snow. I mean, there's just barely anything there. So there's no snow to show you guys. Now, northern areas got hit pretty hard. Some parts of Minnesota got you know up to two or three feet of snow. Not us. Cold, very cold. The high today is only supposed to be 30, maybe, and that's just the temperature. That's not even including what it really feels like, which is probably in the low 20s to the high teens. But it is Iowa, it is the Midwest, and it is close to winter time. I don't even know when winter officially starts, but we're got to be close. Make a stand. Make a difference. Make it stop. Once in the past year. Occurred at least once in the past year. Do okay. you think you can say it all the way through by yourself? Okay, let's hear it. 15.5 million children in the U.S. live in families in which partner violence occurs at least once in the past year. Very good. So what you just saw was some behind the scenes footage from a documentary that my friend Christopher DeBolt is filming and um, these were just some interviews and some statements uh, that we were getting shots for and I was just providing a second camera that day but I thought I'd just get a few behind the scenes shots of, of what was going on. Yeah I just thought you guys would like to see what I do sometimes in my spare time and I'm getting more into doing movies and stuff. Um, I'm obviously not my movie, but in any way that I can lend a hand, whether it's, hey, we need a second camera to put it on the tripod, can you bring yours? I'm learning stuff. So, that's, again, I thought I'd share it with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, but that's how I spent my Saturday morning. Um, it was freezing cold in that building. Uh, I guess I thought the heat was running, but apparently it wasn't. So, uh, it was colder inside than it was outside that day. <laughs> So as soon as this movie is done and online, I will definitely share the link with you guys so you can see uh, um, what we were doing. I don't know how much I'm going to be involved because their shooting schedule is going to a lot of times happen when I can't be around to help. 
but uh, when I can, I will uh, share the link for you guys. Well, it's finally snowing here in Iowa. We got a little bit the other week, but this is the first major snow. It's two to four inches. I mean, it's it's barely anything on the road, as you can see. It's also that time of year where everybody seems to forget how to drive in this stuff. Maybe if they just moved here and this is their first winter, maybe they don't know how to drive, but for the most part, it's people that have been here either all their lives or through a few winters, they should know how to drive. I'm doing like 10 miles an hour while I've stopped, but I'm doing like 10 miles an hour because the guy that was in front of me, who just turned thankfully, felt like he needed to go 10 miles an hour. I mean, the roads are covered, but it's not that bad. Actually, it's this guy. So it's the guy in front of me now that's driving 10 miles an hour. It's usually how it is. It's usually not the car in front of you. It's usually one or two cars in front of them that's going slow. I mean, it's 35 miles an hour through here. And oh, oh, we just cracked 20 miles an hour. So he's speeding up. Please do not let him turn left at this light. Or should say, don't let him turn right at this light. He can turn left, just don't turn right. Because I don't want to deal with this guy driving through a 25 mile an hour zone. Please do not turn right. 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 Oh, yes, he went straight. Somebody pet me. Somebody. Stay down. She had her butt all shaking mm -hmm. ready to jump. No. I got uh -huh. it on it. You better get off. Get down, Sky. <laughs> I got it on film, Carlos. We all know the dog's been on the couch. No, they have not. Mm -hmm. Nope. They yeah. have not. I swear. Yeah. 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 Unshowered self on your video. Stop me. Huh? <laughs> Took it away. She's seeing me on the screen on the back side of the camera, and so when I move, she gets all. This is what she looks like. I have my phone with the camera on facing me so I can show you guys her reaction. This is what she's doing. She is. Locked on. Holy oh, look. <laughs> She's getting impatient. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> she took a picture. She took a picture. <laughs> Well, I guess a dog took selfies. Yeah. <laughs> Bargain at the subwoofer. Her off. Shut, good. Chill out, relax. Look, you're getting all hyper and all red and stuff. <laughs> Just relax. Chloe. Just her off. Just relax. Chloe, I gotta go. Come here, Chloe. Go. Come here. Come here. Come here. Slink over here. Come here. Come on. She'll be okay. Chloe. Come here. Come here, Chloe. Oh, you're gonna make me sad. Come here. She's like, no. Chloe, I have to go bye bye. Bye. Chloe. Let's say bye, Uncle Harold. Come here, Chloe. Let's say bye, Uncle Harold. Come on. Come here, Chloe. Go. Fine, I'll come to you, lazy. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Pause. Look at that. That's my hand, and that's her paw. Mm -hmm. I'm a beast. You a big old dog. Huh? Bye, Coco. You <laughs> 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 just like plopped. Oh, I'm done. Jimmy, are you like in the snow? Huh? You like in the snow, Jimmy? No. Too cold for your feet? Ow, ow, ow. I'm being attacked by a chihuahua. The snow makes her mean. 
See, she's tacking me. You throw my ass in that? Nope, your ass is not in it. There's Beckley. <laughs> yeah, she's mean to him. Ow. Don't get me involved, dog. You don't want me involved. So you run up here for cover? Jemmo. Ow, 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 ow. And people say big dogs bite her bull crab. Come let a little dog bite you. She's very intent on when she digs. See how focused she is? <laughs> Until they're all far and she snipped it. She gets focused and then she has to dig. Oh, that's right. She likes to climb in pillows. There she goes. And that's where she lays. Jamie, you want to come out of there now?